Hello and welcome to this lecture. I'm going to show you the most basic way you can quantize in the piano roll. I'm then going to go into more detail into quantizing, where I'm going to show you how you can use the advanced quantize settings and also how you can use groove templates to quantize your MIDI notes. This video, however, will go into quite a lot of detail into quantizing, so feel free to skip this after I show you the quick quantize method if you don't want to continue learning more about quantization. So if you ever record in any MIDI information and it's slightly out of time, you can correct this using Quantize. So first of all, I'm just going to create a new pattern. And I'm just going to call this Main Beat. And let's just select a colour for this as well. And then hit Enter. As this is a drum pattern, I'm just going to move it up so it's alongside the other drum patterns. In the last lecture, I showed you the auto quantize function. However, I'm just going to go over this very quickly again. So as you can see, we have the snap enabled up here and it's set to bar. I'm just going to change this to quarter beat and then record in a kick drum on this setting. So I'm just going to turn the metronome on with this icon and then also enable a count in. Go over and press record and then go down and select Notes and Automation. Then make sure it's on pattern mode. And then when I press play, I'm going to record in a kick drum rhythm. Also make sure the channel that you'd like to record is selected. Now if we look at the MIDI information in the piano roll, we can see it's perfectly in time. And now I'm going to show you what it's like if we record with this auto quantize setting turned off. So I'm just going to click on this magnet icon to turn off the auto quantize. And I'm just going to go in the piano roll and delete the notes I just recorded in by using the draw tool and right clicking over these notes. Okay, I'm going to record in the kick drum pattern again, but this time without the auto quantize. And now let's open up this piano roll and have a look at the MIDI notes. As you can see there, it's pretty much in time, but it's not perfectly in time. For a kick drum pattern like this, I really want it perfectly in time. I'm just going to use the shortcut Shift and 4 to zoom in. And as you can see, the start times aren't quite on the grid. Let's now change our grid setting to the amount we'd like to quantize to. So let's go up to the magnet up here and then change this to beat because we have a kick drum on every beat of the bar. And now if we go up to the spanner icon and go down to quick quantize, so now it's quantized our kick, so it's perfectly in time, and exactly one beat long. I'm just going to unarm the recording and then play this back. And you can hear there it's perfectly in time with the click. And next I'm going to record in a snare part. So I'm going to select the snare channel in the channel rack and then record arm this. And if this window appears, hit notes and automation. Make sure again that the auto quantize is disabled by checking this magnet icon. Okay, I'm going to hit play now and record in a snare part. Okay, I'm going to open up the piano roll and again we can see it's not quite in time. And this time I'm just going to show you a slightly different quantize setting. Let's go up to the spanner again and now go down to quick quantize start times. You'll notice when we quantize the kick drum it also changed the length of the notes. This was so it filled in the exact length of the grid setting. Sometimes though you don't want to do this as you may want to add other notes in between. So here we can select quick quantize start times. And now you can see it snapped the start to the beat, but it hasn't changed the length of the notes. Okay, now I'm going to record in a hi-hat part. Okay, so I just played the pattern in there, but the timing was quite off. So I'm just going to disable the record button and then open up the piano roll. Okay, so now let's change the grid amount to a much faster setting. Let's go up to the magnet icon up here and change the grid setting to step. Okay, so let's quantize these notes and I'm going to show you a third way to quantize. 
let's go up to the spanner icon here and then go down to quantize. And as you can see, this quantize dialog box appears. And we have a few different controls here to adjust how the notes are quantized. First of all, we have the start time. When this is all the way to the right, it will fully quantize the start of the notes to the grid. And if I blend this back to the left, it will allow you to blend back to the original start time of the notes. But for this example, I'm going to leave it on 100%. And then going down, we have duration. And this allows us to adjust how much the length of the note is quantized. So if it's all the way to the right, the length of the note will be changed to the grid amount. And if you go back to the left, the notes will go back to their original length. So if I turn start time and duration down, the notes will then go back to their original position. OK, and then we have this sensitivity dial up here on the right. And this is basically a mixed dial. So we can blend from the full quantization amount all the way down back to no quantization. So this can be useful if you want to make your recording sound a little bit more human at times. But for now, I'm just going to leave it at max. You'll also notice that we have this drop down box here. And this affects the duration dial. So when it's on quantized duration, it will quantize the length of the notes depending on the grid setting. So at the moment, the grid amount is on step or 16th notes. So these are the exact length of a 16th note. However, if I change this to leave duration, it will keep the original note length after quantizing the start point. So you can see here, when I move the start time, the notes are staying the same length. And the notes also stay the same length when I adjust duration. And now if I select leave end time, the original end time of the notes will be maintained. So if I now move the start time, so this basically means the end of the notes are going to stay where they are, and the length of the note will be adjusted depending on where the start time is. And then we have quantize end time, which will snap the end of the notes to the nearest grid point. So I recommend playing around with these different settings if the auto quantize isn't quite working how you'd like. If I'm using these advanced quantize settings, I will usually use quantize duration as I find this most effective. OK, let's now have a look at the different templates. And the easiest way to access these is by clicking on the drop down arrow here. If you have any that you've downloaded, you can add them to this quantization folder. However, I'm just going to choose one from this list and then see how it looks. Let's choose this one, 16 Hip Hop West Side. And now the red bar lines have actually moved position. And this will change the feel of our rhythm. I'm just going to choose a different one for this example. I'm just going to choose this one, eight eighths only. And you can see it's changed the pattern again. So this can be an interesting way to try out new rhythms. We also have these levels dials down here. We're not going to go into them in much detail though, but what they do is they allow you to blend between the original note property and the settings in the groove preset. So we initially play these velocities that you can see down here. But if I increase the velocity dial here, you can see these have been exaggerated with the groove template. OK, I'm just now going to reset this and close the dialog box. OK, I'm just going to quickly quantize these notes now by using the shortcut Command Q on Mac or Control Q on Windows. This is almost perfect apart from the first two notes which have snapped to the wrong 16th note. So I'm just going to select these and manually drag them over. I'm just going to turn off the metronome and play this back. Okay, great, our notes are now perfectly in time for the pattern that I wanted to play in. So most of the time, quick quantize and quick quantize start time will do the job perfectly fine. However, I just wanted to show you in depth the different quantize settings that you may want to play with yourself. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lecture.